Item number SCP-3042, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Researcher note, due to the nature of the anomalous abilities displayed by SCP-3042, no conventional method of singular containment has proven successful. Procedures instead focus on containing the individual SCP-3042 is showing affection to, designated SCP-3042-1. Dr. Gilman. Scientific Department, Area 25, Lead Researcher. SCP-3042 and SCP-3042-1 are held in joint containment in a small modular house on the grounds of Biological Research Area 25. Containment includes a secure communication line to a special liaison within Area 25 and a standard update custom data key activated atomizing termination chamber. Containment is surrounded at a radius of 15 meter by 5 meter high electrified and reinforced fence, including a full coverage canopy. See report 3042CB3. Fence includes an airlock configuration gate for safe delivery of supplies, removal of rubbish, and introduction of personnel. Land outside containment fence is patrolled at all times by three all terrains with response security specialists. In the unlikely event of SCP-3042 and SCP-3042-1 becoming separated outside the containment house grounds, swift response specialists will expeditiously deliver SCP-3042-1 to SCP-3042. During test periods, delivery of subjects to test sites will be executed by no fewer than five members of the Special Fugitive Transportation Unit. Containment is staffed by two scheduling enforcement specialists. Should SCP-3042-1 become medically unstable, enforcement specialists will restrain SCP-3042-1 and 1D-class personnel, designated 3042-D, will be delivered to containment. SCP-3042-1 will be terminated by a chamber operated by 3042-D, who is then reclassified as SCP-3042-1. These procedures may also be enacted at the request of the current SCP-3042-1. Description SCP-3042 is a small dog with a model coat, primarily white with grey and brown areas. Genomic saliva tests have found DNA consistent with an unrecorded breed of Canis lupus familiaris. SCP-3042 resembles a 4 to 5 year old haven knees weighing 5 kilograms and measuring 25 centimeters tall. SCP-3042 appears to be in peak physical condition, free of any outwardly observable sign of past or present injury or malady. SCP-3042 has not slept, consumed food or water, or produced urine or stool since containment. Further medical tests have proven thus far impossible due to the anomalous traits of SCP-3042. Recovery Details SCP-3042 was discovered during raid executed by Special Task Force Copper-7 while seeking to contain possible instances of SCP-484. Note, instances discovered to be mundane heroin with novel packaging visually similar to gel packs but comprised of plastic. Rate resulted in institution of lethal measures against narcotic distributors. It is at this time SCP-3042 began following and showing affection to Special Agent Beep. While at first believing SCP-3042 to be a typical dog, Special Agent Beep reported anomalous behavior and abilities within one week and was the first to be foundation designated as SCP-3042-1. Exhibiting behavior likened to an extreme and obsessive prey of psychological implanting, SCP-3042 perpetually exhibits belligerently affectionate behavior towards SCP-3042-1. SCP-3042 will continuously jump on, lick, play bite, paw at, 
and playfully bark at SCP-3042-1 even when abused or severely rejected. Thus far, no stimulus tested has distracted SCP-3042 from its focus on SCP-3042-1. No individual designated SCP-3042-1 has ever been severely injured by SCP-3042 despite its extreme destructive capabilities. Occasional reports of welt, scratches, and skin ulcers due to wear from long-term continuous licking by SCP-3042 are to be considered normal and non-emergent. Individuals designated SCP-3042-1 have reported physical and psychological symptoms during their containment, including but not limited to body aches, burning eyes, chronic fatigue, irritability, headaches, confusion, memory lapse, delusions, and seizures. Project Medical Lead Dr. A. Eastmore believes these symptoms to be non-anomalous, resulting from sleep deprivation and chronic stress due to constant attention of SCP-3042. While I respect Dr. Eastmore's expertise and training, I am forced to disagree with this conclusion. Most people eventually sleep even with a pest. These people don't. Testing is to continue. Dr. M. Gomez, Medical Director, Area 25. Should SCP-3042 and SCP-3042-1 become separated, SCP-3042 will immediately make its way back to SCP-3042-1 via the most direct route. When motivated to this end, SCP-3042 has shown the capability to destroy even the strongest materials and move at extreme speed. See Test Log 3042-A. SCP-3042 also displays an astounding resistance to physical damage, poison, disease, and deprivation. Research has yet to discover any conventional means of injuring SCP-3042. See Test Log 3042-B. SCP-3042 has expressed canine distress behavior only once while in Foundation containment. See Document Log SCP-X-3042. When SCP-3042-1 is terminated or expires, SCP-3042 will immediately move directly toward the next SCP-3042-1. This thus far has always been a person with a measure of responsibility in the expiration of the previous SCP-3042-1. Current containment procedures are designed to create an unbroken chain of direct responsibility for terminations, containing SCP-3042, while also preventing casualty and damage among Foundation and civilian populations. Research into how SCP-3042 reacts to SCP-3042-1 expiring by way of suicide or misadventure on hold indefinitely as no acceptably safe methodology by which test these reactions has been developed. See Incident Report 3042-CB2 Incident Reports Report 3042-CB1 Researchers note, this incident took place early in SCP-3042 containment period. Initial containment was regulated to a standard on-site humanoid holding cell. Motivations of SCP-3042 were not known at this time. Dr. Gilman On beep, 20 beep SCP-3042-1 entered a request for termination, claiming he could no longer deal with this goddamn dog. Request for termination was granted. Consider the research opportunity by Site Director. SCP-3042-1 termination delayed by destruction of initial termination chamber by SCP-3042, which ran through level 3 ballistic glass with little effort. Agent B ordered to administer ballistic termination and complied. Immediately upon the termination of SCP-3042-1, SCP-3042 imprinted onto Agent Beep and made its way to the agent. In its travels, SCP-3042 dug through two steel reinforced concrete walls, ran through an observation deck end-to-end, -end, and shattered 14 windows in Section 3 by producing a speed-induced pressure wave. 22 Foundation staff injured, 4 killed, Secondary containment protocols enacted for three other SCPs. 
Agent Beep reported firing several shots into SCP-3042 at point-blank range with long-range high-powered rifle to no effect. Agent reclassified as SCP-3042-1. Current containment protocols enacted soon thereafter. Report 3042-CB-2 At approximately 14.30 on Beep, 20 Beep, SCP-3042 burst through the wall of containment house, through intervening fence, and began transiting northeast at extreme speed. Foundation Sky Sight Unit recorded maximum speed as approximately Mach 12 before losing contact. Sight contacted 4 minutes 37 seconds after breach by Supply Agent Beep from nearby Public Highway Beep. Agent reported the driver's side door of Foundation Supply Transport Vehicle being torn off and SCP-3042 jumping into his lap at highway speed. Agent ordered to return immediately to Area 25, complied. Investigation uncovered that Agent had introduced most recent supply drop to Containment House and that SCP-3042-1 had choked to death on beef jerky included in supply drop. Agent reclassified as SCP-3042-1, staff introduced to Containment House on a permanent basis. Report 3042-CB-3 At approximately 0245 on beep, 20 beep, Containment House personnel reported SCP-3042-1 acting erratic, and observation continued. As observation continued, Destiny-D scooped up SCP-3042 ran outside and pushed it over the containment fence. Designate T was subdued by containment house staff. SCP-3042 was reported to land, right itself, and rushed back to SCP-3042-1, ripping an approximate one meter diameter hole in containment fence. SCP-3042-1 restrained while fence was repaired. 3042-D dispatched to containment house. SCP-3042-1 terminated on schedule per procedure. 3042-D reclassified as SCP-3042-1. Security canopy installation completed on schedule. Test Log 3042-A Capabilities Testing Researchers note, although it came at the cost of the repair and upgrade of containment, I am forced to credit one of our early designated with a simple and inspired solution concerning SCP-3042 capability testing. Dr. Gilman Universal Procedure SCP-3042-1 will deliver SCP-3042 to the opposing side of an obstacle in the form of a wall by way of physical kinetic propulsion. Effect of SCP-3042 on obstacle will then be recorded by multispectral ultra-high-speed camera. Time to return contact with SCP-3042-1 will be recorded. Log A-3042-1 Material Tungsten Carbide Thickness 5 cm Result SCP-3042 clawed a 0.5 diameter hole into wall utilizing typical canine digging action. Return time, 2.594 seconds. Note, samples of wall material collected display no anomalous traits. Material appears to have shaved from wall by mechanical shear. Log A, 3042-10. Material, carbon composite. Thickness, 5 cm. Result, SCP-3042 ran directly through barrier, two Foundation personnel injured by burst of sharpener. Return time, 1.953 seconds. Note, samples of wall material collected display no anomalous traits. Material appears to have been overcome by shattering blunt force. Researchers note, this second test marked a turn in our testing approach. We decided to work from the top tier of resistant materials as opposed to our usual step-up procedures. Dr. Gelman Log A, 3042-100 Material, Graphene Thickness, 15 nanometers Result SCP-3042 gripped all layers in its mouth and shredded them with a thrash of the head. Return time, 2.285 seconds Note, samples of wall material collected display no anomalous traits. Material appears to have been shredded, not unlike newsprint. 
Capability study suspended indefinitely pending overseer approval of cost testing with other SCPs. Note, cost testing authorization request approved by O5BEEP. All sufficient scientific advancement in material science. LE, Area Director. Test Log, 3042B. Resistance Testing, Universal Procedure. A number of health stressors will be applied to SCP-3042, which will then be tested for illness or injury. Log B-3042-1 Stressor SCP-3042-1 instructed to strike SCP-3042 with a steel machete using maximum effort. Result SCP-3042 unfazed, machete experienced catastrophic failure. Destiny D treated for minor lacerations. No injury to SCP-3042 recorded. Remains of machete showed no anomalous traits. Log B-3042-10 Stressor SCP-3042-1 instructed to assault SCP-3042 with a .5 caliber pistol loaded with overpressure hollow point rounds. Result SCP-3042 unfazed by sound, flash, or impact. Against researcher advice, Designate E pressed firearm muscle directly against SCP-3042. Firearm catastrophically failed. Designate D treated severe injury to right hand as well as concussion after being struck by ejected pistol slide. No injury to SCP-3042 recorded. Remains of firearm, ejected casing, and corrected rounds showed no anomalous traits. Log B, 3042, 11. Stressor, SCP-3042-1 instructed to fit SCP-3042 with a vest containing a standard M112C4 demolition block. SCP-3042-1 instructed to propel SCP-3042 over carbon composite barrier and immediately detonate block. Result, SCP-3042 tore through barrier after detonation and returned to detonate D. Return time, 3.256 seconds. SCP-3042 observed to have slightly messed fur, but free of injury. C4 observed to have detonated properly and as expected. Log B, 3042-100. Stressor, SCP-3042-1 scheduled for termination. Designate D joined in standard atomizing termination chamber by SCP-3042. Chamber operated by 3042D. Result, SCP-3042-1 terminated on schedule. SCP-3042 burst out of chamber after termination cycle was complete. No injury to SCP-3042 recorded. 3042-D immediately reclassified as SCP-3042-1. Documentation Log, SCP-X-3042. Universal Procedure, exposing SCP-3042 and or SCP-3042-1 to anomalous effects under controlled conditions. Off-area cross-testing logs. Experiment Log, T98816-OC108682. Experiment Log, 702. SCP-978 Extended Test Logs. Director's Notes. I have assigned a special engineering team to modify a standard termination chamber which, and I never imagined writing these words, allows swift and easy escape of SCP-3042. He cannot keep replacing doors every three weeks. L.E. Item. SCP-3042. Tissue test record. Not applicable. Termination test record. SCP-682 was allowed to devour SCP-3042-1, causing SCP-3042 to bond with SCP-682. SCP-682 attacked SCP-3042. Contact with SCP-682's claws causes SCP-3042 to audibly whimper in pain, though no scars were found afterward. SCP-3042 flees, bursting through containment chamber wall. Containment breach averted due to severe difference in size between subjects. 
Immediately after escaping, SCP-3042 sits and tilts its head quizzically, maintaining this position for approximately two minutes before bonding with the guard who had escorted SCP-3042-1. Guard reclassified as SCP-3042-1. Note, I wasn't really that hopeful, but I am disappointed that we couldn't at least get 3042 Two on a containment protocol that didn't involve D classes. Dr. Beep. Experiment 702042. Name of researcher Dr. Gelman. Interacting personnel SCP 3042 1. Object traded SCP 3042. Object received none. Trade refused. Note, upon seeing SCP-3042, SCP-7021 gave a tense no and seemed agitated, ceased communication immediately. Subject, SCP-3042, SCP-3042-1, photographed in tandem by anomalous necessity. Photographed activity, SCP-3042 being held by and licking the chin of SCP-3042-1. Photo result, both subjects unconscious and in close proximity in a conspicuously expensive bed. Note, I have no idea what this picture is telling us, but if it gets that beast to calm down, it's worth looking into, Dr. Gilman. 